In this video, I'm gonna talk you through five things that you can do to improve your video teaching content. Hi, my name is Greg Martin. I've produced a lot of online video teaching content. And over the years, I've discovered a lot of what to do and what not to do. And I'm gonna talk you through the big lessons learned in this video today. First, I'm gonna tell you what not to do. Do not take your 45 minute lecture PowerPoint slides and make a video recording of you talking over those slides. That simply doesn't work. It's not engaging when it comes to online and video content. So the first big lesson learned here is keep your videos short. Right, and what do I mean by short? I mean try and keep things to about 10 minutes. If you've got content that's longer than 10 minutes, try to find ways of breaking it up into smaller bite-sized chunks. And the second big lesson learned is of course, eye contact is important. A big screen full of PowerPoint text, no good, not engaging. What people want is they want eye contact. You wanna be staring into the camera and talking because it makes people feel as if you're talking to them. It's engaging and that's important. Now let me just say this, you don't need to go out and spend a whole lot of money on a very expensive camera. It's not necessary. The camera that's built into your laptop, just the webcam, that's probably good enough. If you've got a computer that doesn't have a webcam, let's say you're using a desktop, you might wanna go out and buy some sort of webcam. Uh, Logitech produce an excellent, relatively cheap 4K camera that's gonna give you quality over and above what you need for your purposes. A quick tip, if you're using the camera, the webcam built into a laptop, so it's built into the screen of the laptop, you wanna get a few books or something just to build up the height of the laptop so that the camera is at eye level, right? You wanna be looking at the camera, sitting comfortably, your shoulders back, head up, looking straight at the camera. If you leave the laptop on your desk, you've gotta stoop down over the computer to look at the camera and it looks a little bit odd. It's a small thing, but it makes a big difference. I've said that you can use the camera that's built into your laptop and that's just fine. That's not the case when it comes to sound. When it comes to sound, the microphone that's built into your laptop is not good enough for you to make engaging video teaching content. You wanna get some sort of external microphone. You don't need to get something super duper expensive. Any kind of cheap microphone that you plug into your laptop will do the trick. I recommend the Yeti microphone. It's excellent, the quality of sound that you'll get from it is absolutely superb. Now when it comes to lighting, again, you don't need to go out and spend a whole lot of money on very expensive lights. You can do that and if you really wanna get into this and produce sort of high-end video teaching content, there's nothing wrong with that. And, and if you go down that route, I would recommend the Elgato lights. I think they're very easy to use. You've got a lot of control over the brightness, et cetera, et cetera. So look into that. But if you're not wanting to spend money but you still wanna get excellent light, natural light is the very best. You wanna sit in front of a large window with a lot of natural light falling onto you. The light needs to come onto you, not from behind you, otherwise it casts a shadow on your face, right? So natural light uh, from a large window with your, you sitting in front of that window will give you excellent lighting and you'll get a really fantastic, uh, good quality film with just that. And let me just say this, you don't need to have all sorts of fancy graphics and animations to make your video engaging. What makes your video engaging is you looking into the camera and coming across as excited about the content that you're teaching. If you're excited, if you're interested, you send a message to the people watching the video that they can and should be excited and interested too. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to create engaging online video teaching content, then go to learnmore365.com. I've got a course there that goes into a lot more detail on each of these things. So learn more, 365.com. See you there.